A very welcome to all of you in this YouTube channel. Let us today we get started with our session on Indian Constitution and in this session our target is to learn all the parts of the Indian Constitution and for this we need to remember a short and a simple trick to memorize all the parts of the Indian Constitution. This very session will be most useful for the competitive exams whether at the state level or at the national level. So let us we get started to memorize all the parts of the Indian Constitution via a simple and a short trick. We all know that first session of the Constituent Assembly was held on 9th of December 1946 on the proposals of the Cabinet Mission Plan. 9th of December 1946 was the first session held by the Constituent Assembly to frame or to complete the Constitution of India. So the first session of Constituent Assembly was held on 9th of December 1946. And Constituent Assembly from 9th of December 1946 to took two years, 11 months and 18 days to complete the task of preparing a constitution. Constituent Assembly took two years, 11 months and 18 days to complete the task of framing the world's lengthiest constitution for India. So finally, this task was completed on 26th of November 1949. So the constitution was completed on 26th of November 1949 and it was finally on 26th of January 1950. So we can say since 9th of December 1946, Constituent Assembly took two years, 11 months and 18 days to complete the task of preparing a constitution. So finally it was on 26th of November 1949 that Constituent Assembly prepared a constitution. And finally, it was on 26th of Jan 1950 that the world's lengthiest constitution came into effect. That is why on the same date of 26th of January, India celebrates Republic Day annually. And it is on this date that India became a republic. Why only on 26th of Jan 1950? Because it was the Purna Swaraj resolution or the complete resolution moved by the President of the Indian National Congress, Jawaharlal. Nehru during 1929 Congress session of Lahore and it was on 26th of January 1930 that the first Republic Day of India was celebrated. Keeping in view the historical importance of the 26th of January, 26th of January was chosen as the Republic Day and is celebrated annually in India as a Republic Day. So finally, on 26th of January 1950, when the Indian Constitution came into effect, Constitution of India consists of 395 articles, 22 parts and 8 schedules. Since 26th of January 1950, Constitution of India had underwent continuous change and presently Indian Constitution consists of about 448 articles divided into 25 parts and 12 schedules. So this is the structure or the framework of the Indian Constitution. Originally it consists of 395 articles, 22 parts and 8 schedules. Since 26th of Jan 1950, Constitution of India has under went continuous change and presently it consists of 448 articles, 25 parts and 12 schedules. We have already learned the 12th schedules of the Indian Constitution. If you have not yet watched that very video, do check in the playlist tips and tricks you will get the video. For today and in this very session we will try to learn all the 25 parts of the Indian Constitution and in the next session we will try to learn the 448 articles of the Indian Constitution as well. So let us we get started. From part 1 to part 9th, we need to remember a short sentence, you can fly directly from US to UP. You can fly directly from US to UP is a short trick to remember the 9 parts of the Indian Constitution. Part 1st deals with union and its territory, U stands for union. Part 2nd, it deals with citizenship. Can the first letter of can that is C C stands for citizenship in the same way part third it deals with fundamental rights F stands with fundamental rights 
part 4 deals with direct principles of the state policy directly the first letter of directly d it stands for direct principles part 4a fundamental duties from the first letter of from f it stands for fundamental duties part fifth that is union government vu stands for union part sixth that is state government s stands for state government and part seventh it is repealed by the seventh constitutional amendment act of 1956 so presently part seventh is a deleted part part eight it stands for union territories u stands for union territories and part ninth p stands for panchayat spot ninth deals with panchayat so in this way we easily learned the ninth parts of the indian constitution part one deals with union and its territories u stands for union part second deals with citizenship c stands for citizenship part third deals with fundamental rights f stands for fundamental rights part four deals with the directive principles of the state policy d stands for directive principles part four a deals with fundamental duties f stands for fundamental duties part fifth deals with union government u stands for union government Part 6th deals with state government, S stands for state government. Part 7th was repealed by the 7th Constitutional Amendment Act of 1956, so part 7th stands deleted. Part 8th, it deals with union territories, U stands for union, and part 9th, it deals with panchayats, and P stands for panchayat. So, via this short sentence, you can fly directly from US to UP. U stands for union and its territories, C stands for citizenship, F stands for fundamental rights, D stands for direct principles of the state policy, and another F stands for fundamental duties, U stands for union government, S stands for state government, and U another one stands for union territories, and P stands for panchayats. In this way, we learned the part 1 to 9th of the Indian constitution. And to remember the parts from 9th A to early 1th, we need to remember another short sentence that is meet the child of Shaquille and Rizwan. Meet the child of Shaquille and Rizwan. So, part 9th A, it deals with municipalities. The first letter M stands for municipalities. Part 9th B stands for cooperative societies. The first letter of child C stands for cooperative societies. Part 10th Scheduled and Tribal Areas. The first letter of Shaquille S stands for Scheduled. And Part 11th that is relation between union and the state government and the part and the first letter of Rizwan that is R stands for relation between union and the state government once again we will try to remember these parts so to learn the parts from 9th e to 11th we need to remember a short sentence meet the child of shakil and rizwan how does it make a sense let, let us try to understand part 9th a deals with municipalities and the meet the first letter of meet m stands for municipalities part 9th b cooperative societies the first letter of child c stands for cooperative societies and part 10th schedule and tribal areas the first letter of shakil s stands for schedule and tribal areas and and part 11th deals with the relation between union and the state government that is the first letter of rizwan or stands for relation so in this way we need to Remember the whole sentence that is you can fly directly from US to UP to meet child of Shaquille and Rizwan. In this way, we learned the early one parts of the Indian constitution. Part 12 deals with finance, property, contract and suits and fruits. The first letter of fruits F stands for finance. Part 13, it deals with trade, commerce and intercourse within the territory of India and taste, the first letter of taste, T stands for trade and and part 14th it deals with services under the union and the states and the first letter of suite that is s it stands for services and part 14th a it stands for tribunals and to the first letter of to t it stands for tribunals in the same way 
part 15th it deals with elections and the first letter of it e it stands for elections so in this way we learned the 15 parts of the indian constitution via a simple and a short sentence that is you can fly directly from us to up it is the one sentence meet the child of shakil and rizwan and fruit taste sweet to eat fruit taste sweet to eat is a short trick to remember the parts from 12 to 15 of the indian constitution one once again we will try to learn the parts from 12 to 15 of the indian constitution so let us we try to understand it part 12th it deals with the finance property contracts and suits the fruits the first letter of the fruits f stands for finance so part 12th deals with finance property contracts and suits in this way Part 13 deals with trade, commerce, intercourse within the territory of India. Taste, the first letter of taste, T, it stands for trade. So, part 13 deals with trade, commerce, intercourse within the territory of India. In the same way, part 14 it deals with services under the union and the states so sweet the first letter of the sweet s it stands for services under the union and the states so part 14th deals with services under the union and the states and in the same way part 14th a it deals with in the same way part 14th a it deals with tribunals and, and the first letter of to, t it stands for tribunals part 14th a deals with tribunals and part 15th it deals with elections and e the first letter of e e it stands for elections so in this way we learned the 15 parts of indian constitution via a simple and a short trick so you can fly directly from us to up meet the child of shakil and rizwan a fruit taste sweet to eat in this way we learned 15th parts of the indian constitution so let us continue part 16 it deals with special provisions related to certain classes that is so the first letter of so s it stands for special provisions in the same way part 17 it deals with optional languages first letter of only o it stands for optional languages part 18th it deals with emergency provisions eat the first letter of eat e it stands for emergency provisions part 19 it deals with miscellaneous provisions maggie the first letter of maggie m it stands for miscellaneous it stands for miscellaneous and part 20th it deals with amendment of the constitution as the first letter of as it stands for amendments and in the same way part 21 it deals with the temporary transitional and special provisions and tasty the first letter of tasty t it stands for temporary and part 22 it deals with short title commencement authority to textus in hindi and appeals s snacks snacks the first letter of snacks s stands for short titles in this way we learned all the parts of the indian constitution from 1 to 22 once again we will try to recap it part 16 it deals with the special provisions related to certain classes as of so so the first letter of so s it stands for special provisions and part 17 it deals with optional languages only only the first letter of only o it stands for optional languages and part 18 deals with emergency provisions and the eat the first letter of eat e the first letter of eat e it it stands for emergency provisions and part 19 it deals with miscellaneous maggie the first letter of maggie m it stands for miscellaneous and part 20th it deals with amendment procedure amendment of the constitution and as the first letter of as it stands for amendment and part 21 temporary transitional and special provisions tasty the first letter of tasty t it stands for temporary and part 22 it stands for 
एंड पार्ट ट्वेंटी टू डील विद शॉर्ट टाइटल कमेंसमेंट अथॉरिटी टू टेक्सट इन हिंदी एंड रिपील एंड स्नैक्स द फर्स्ट लेटर ऑफ स्नैक्स एस इट स्टैंड फॉर शॉर्ट टाइटल इन दिस वे वी ट्राइड टू रिमेंबर और वी ट्राई टू मेमोराइज ऑल द पार्ट ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो टू रिमेंबर ऑल द पार्ट ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन फ्राम पार्ट वन टू पार्ट ट्वेंटी टू प्रेजेंटली इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन कंसिस्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव पार्ट बट दीज पार्ट आर इन द सब कैटेगरीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल पार्ट फोर डील्स विद डायरेक्टिव प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द स्टेट पॉलिसी एंड पार्ट फोर ए डील्स विद फंडामेंटल राइट so to remember all the parts of the indian constitution we need to remember this very short sentence you can fly directly from us to up meet the child of shakil and rizwan fruit taste sweet to eat so eat only maggi as tasty snacks this very trick will definitely help you to solve a question related to any of the parts of the indian constitution hope you all have enjoyed this very video lecture this was all in this today's video lecture we will be back in the next video lecture till then stay blessed allah hafiz afi amanillah